you tell them? My name is Joe, but I also tell them what just happened. We just got pulled over by the police. We, we got pulled over. Because he was going too fast. I don't know who's watching. Who is watching? Early this year, I went to a wedding in Peru. Time moved differently there. I saw a city that was stuck in time, and I saw a sunset that lasted forever, sharing in the time of their lives. While the rest of the world came apart at the seams. In April, it seemed like we had time to do whatever we wanted. Yeah. You want the long story or the short yeah, story? Yeah, I want the long story. So want the whole story. <laughs> so, um, like before there was a pandemic, I was like, oh my gosh, like I love Mary Man. She's so sweet and beautiful and loving and she's carrying my baby. Like, Do you go to trips now? Like But oh, we can't go now? We can't go now. We're supposed to go to Jamaica. And now we can't. So they, when were we supposed to go? April 10th. Mm -hmm. You don't want to stab me? Why do you think I'll stab you? Well, for a couple different reasons. Because I did tell you no. <laughs> you told me. I told you no. In June, for a moment, time stopped. And then I started to think about what forever means. In August, I had lots of time. November, I had no more time. I have to remember that time passes by in the twinkling of an eye. Time is the only thing that matters to me right now. It's like as we go about living our normal lives, there's a whole other narrative being lived out by the whole world that tells you about the things you should care about. Not listening to that omnipotent narrative was one of the most effective things that helped me stay happy and healthy throughout this year. My narrative was to be creative. My narrative was to stay open-minded. Psalm 90, verse 12 says, Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I want God to teach me how to number my days now and have wisdom for today. I do not want to waste time in 2021. I want to be intentional about as many things my heart has the capacity for. And I hope the same for you. I hope your days are numbered in 2021, that you may gain a heart of wisdom, that you may choose the things that you care about and live those things unimpeded, uninterrupted, unhindered.
I hope you have a happy new 2021.